Hey guys, it's me Charlene. Today is May 3rd, 2013 and today's video is another unboxing. These eggs came from Katie on Facebook and um, she sent me some Sarama eggs. So I'm really excited to add these eggs and hatch out some new babies from my new line that I'm getting from her. And uh, the box came in just fine. Uh, they handled it just fine. They didn't make any horrible crushing and smashing. Sometimes I get um, boxes, as you guys have seen, where, depending on where they come from in the state, um, they're damaged terribly. But on this video, you guys are noticing that the eggs, or that the box looks really good. Now, I'm so glad that Katie sent me some pine shavings, because I gotta use this stuff. <laughs> I have a few nest boxes that I need to fill. So I'm going to go ahead and show you guys the beautiful eggs. And I'm going to use this egg crate to go ahead and put the eggs in. Now, let's see. Where are you, Easter eggs? So if you guys are interested um, in Sarama eggs, if you look at the description below this video there will be a link for you guys to click on there will either be um, her page I think she has a page specially designed for her hatching eggs that she sells and I do know that she has Saramas and um, so you guys are welcome to look below this video for the link also um, if she would like I will also post her eBay um, page for you guys to look at. She has auctions, like I do, on Sarama eggs. And so you guys can take a look at that as well. Alright. So, I'm just going to take this out and get them organized. It smells really good. It smells like pine shavings. I like pine shavings. I use it for the bedding of my button quails, or sometimes I use it for the nesting material. I also use it in the chicken coop in the pens. So there's six in here. And these are the plus. So there's three more eggs in there. And I believe that's all she sent me, so I'm not going to look through the rest of the box. So I got a message from her on Facebook. I'll look at it later after the video in case there are any eggs. And I will probably either add another video or um, I'll um, put a little description below to tell you guys about it. Now I have some Sarama hens that are broody. I have two of them, and now I have three. So my egg sales are probably going to be a little less coming up. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to decide if they're going to be broody enough to use these eggs and incubate them for me, or if I just got to put them in the incubator. So here's the first cute little egg. Looks just like one of my eggs. She packs her eggs, um, tissue paper, and then the um, bubble wrap. And then after she bubble wraps them, she tapes it up, and I probably should have had some scissors. During this process, when you have to open them up like this, you have to be very careful because you don't want to squeeze the egg. You don't want to accidentally crush the egg or create a crack. Oops, maybe I don't. Sorry, my cat knocked. She's rubbing her face on here, so sorry about the wiggle, you guys. I swear, cats do the worst things at the worst time. <laughs> now the nice thing about the um, new lines of eggs, oh this one's nice and white. Now see an egg like this, what you could do if you're not sure which end is which, is you can um, lay it on its side, lay it on its side. And then later on, you can go ahead and candle it with a light, very bright light. Or you can candle it now to see if you can see the air pocket. 
So I can't tell which side is which on this egg, so I'm just going to lay it in here for now. And then afterwards, I'll go ahead and lay it um, on its correct side once I figure out which side is which. That happens. There's nothing wrong with eggs like that. Sometimes you get eggs that are a little bit long, and they're practically the same on each side. And um, they still hatch because they were made to carry a little baby in there. The only eggs I find very strange to hatch and I try not to sell are the ones that are really super long. Here's a cute little white one. The long eggs I try not to sell. Um, sometimes I will use them as extras, but I've had a few people tell me that they all hatched when I sent them like eight Saroma eggs. I've had a few people tell me um, that the teeny tiniest egg hatched. Oh my gosh, speaking of teeny tiny, look at this little cutie. That is so little. Uh, 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 uh. You guys, I have three little dogs barking in the background, playing around. Isn't it funny how your pets choose certain moments to act up? <laughs> you guys, stop. <laughs> oh, and now the neighbor's calling me. I'll be right back. All right, I'm back. That was the neighbor next door. I had sold a little parakeet, an English budgie, to him, and he bought a cage. So he was calling me to let me know that he got the cage. Normally this doesn't happen during a video. All right, and I also got a little pair of scissors, so that way I can go ahead and cut these open a little quicker. I didn't want to use the knife anymore, because I didn't want to damage any of the eggs. So far they are looking good. Now remember you guys, when you get eggs in the mail, the best thing to do is to let them sit. That's a cute little one. Here's another one that's shaped oval. And it's hard to tell which one is which. Sometimes you can tell by the way the egg is created. There's like a little bit of a funny development at the tip and at the round end, not so much. So I'm going to guess that one too. But, um... I choose to let my eggs sit for up to a day and then I candle them before I put them into the incubator to see if the um, air sac returned to its place and was able to um, create another little air pocket again. That was cute. And um, this way um, I can tell if the egg is going to possibly develop and have a good chance. If for any reason it does not return and you notice it's kind of watery and it still shakes and there's no air pocket, I still will go ahead and incubate it just to find out what happens. Now I haven't really paid attention to the results of it so I really don't know. Here's a cute little creamy colored egg and it looks like a lot of these you can't really tell which end is which except a few but that's okay because um, like I said you could just candle the air pocket later on once um, they've sat. Some people ask me how many days or how many hours do you let your eggs sit before you incubate them. Um, a lot of us will let them sit for a day. Some of us are too anxious and excited to try to incubate them, which is not a very good idea to do and incubate them um, the same couple hours. So the best thing to do is just, you know, if you can, here's another one, if you can um, let the eggs sit until it's time to go to bed and if you're like me and you go to bed really late at night like 12 or 1 in the morning that would probably be a good time to go ahead and set them in and my mail comes around two o'clock sometimes one o'clock um, rarely at three o'clock so from like let's just say 12 30 or one o'clock until 12 30 or one in the morning that's a good amount of hours but um if you can and you can be patient just go ahead and set the eggs for up to a day if you can All right, this is the last egg. So, I'll go ahead and give you guys a close-up. These are the eggs. And I want to thank you, Katie, for sending me these beautiful eggs in the mail. I can't wait. I believe your lines um, that you have is Silk Saramas, 
you have some frizzles and you have some beautiful smooth feathered ones and so I'm gonna go ahead and let these set and I'll go ahead and get them incubated and hatch them out and if everything goes well incubation and everything I will have an updated video on how they look as chicks their colors and then we'll have some more updates of them growing now I do have some more eggs coming I have a little bit more Sarama eggs and I can't wait and so I want to hatch out some chicks and of course um, the roosters I will go ahead and start selling but in the summertime it's not always a good idea to sell eggs so if you guys want to order some eggs from Katie um, definitely look at the description below this video and click on the link to contact Katie and ask her what she has available and if you don't want to ask her go ahead and click on the link for the eBay and bid or buy it now whichever way she has it set up and purchase her eggs that way she has some photos on there too so thanks for watching you guys if you like this unboxing video give it a thumbs up if you didn't like the video give it a thumbs down and of course don't forget to subscribe because I have more videos coming soon of more unboxings a few shout outs and a few updates thanks for watching you guys see you guys in the next video